Okay, so today we'll be taking a look at this very expensive, high quality, <coughs> no name, um, branded multimeter, which obviously has some of the best safety ratings you could possibly imagine. Let's take a look. So on here we have a 500 volt uh, maximum, and yet here it's, oh I see, okay, so it's 500, no, it's 500 volt maximum, what is that, like DC, AC bias, so yeah, it's like they can't make their mind up, because here it also says uh, 1000 volts, which is always good, isn't it? Right, so we've got a multimeter that apparently can't make its mind up over the spec, and we've also got a transistor tester, yay, so let's, uh, screw it, let's just take it apart, let's see what they've, uh, horrifying uh, safety ratings they've got inside, or circuit protection, if any. I think there's probably, <laughs> refer to manual, I think that was, uh, that was done a long time ago. That's better. Let's shake some screws out here. Let's see what's got on the back here. To avoid electrical shock, remove test leads by opening, or before opening case. Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, refer to manual, power supply, one 9 volt battery. Well, as I actually per uh, purchased, or borrowed this from a friend, he did remove the battery clip, which is probably the safest modification he could have done to this meter. Oh, actually, I won't undo that just yet. Um, so they've put a fuse in here, I would assume for something like the milliamps range or something, I guess. Uh, Yep, half amp fuse and rated <laughs> for 250 volts. Somehow, I very much doubt that. But hey, I'm an optimist, and that's really not coming out, is it? Yes, it is. Look at that, lovely. Right. So there's a couple of PT. There's a PTC. There's some input input protection. That's quite nice. What isn't massively nice is they haven't exactly. Uh, Put a fuse in, some sort of HRC fuse would have been nice across that amp setting. Uh, they've just got a shunt, and that goes straight from, uh, yeah, it goes straight from the 10 amp, or in this case, 5 amp, because it says 5 amp on the PCB, and yet it says 10 amp on the front. Yeah, they should probably um, look about doing some research before they, you know, do this. But there we go. So... There's a current shunt on the front of this, and it goes straight to the common, as normally there's something like a HRC fuse in here which should uh, really help the uh, the protection. I'm guessing that little diode there that's just stuck up, I would assume that goes straight to a cob, uh, which is this little black chip here. And uh, it's a cap, yeah it is, isn't it? Yeah, just a gener generic uh, cap. So I would assume <coughs> that diode on the circuit board there is just for converting the AC into the DC signal. And then hopefully uh, go straight to the cob. You could actually put a uh, meter across that. That's quite interesting. It's got similar kind of uh, uh, brush stroke terminals as to what the flukes have. Oh, that's cool. They put ball bearings as well inside here. So it gives that nice clicky sound. So it even sounds like a fluke meter. Look at that. But generally speaking, there's not a lot on this board. Um, certainly no high quality input protection, apart from that PTC, I suppose. I don't know. Um, but yeah, if I was rating this as a meter, I'd probably say I would be happy using this uh, for no more than about 12 volts. So there we are. I should probably be putting this back together. Should I do it now? Nah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a good good meter. It's fairly accurate from what I've tested of the uh, the working ones of these. Um, I'm not massively happy, actually, considering that this, this part here is actually a circuit board, which is, I would assume, during the process of manufacture, comes off this half of the circuit board, and then they snap it, and then they move it round, so it makes uh, the surface area of the, of the PCB a lot cheaper to produce. However, I mean, they've got, they've got nice, nice solder points, but they have, they have just literally bridge solder <laughs> across from one side of this PCB to the other, and there is actually 
I don't know if that'll focus, but there is just a small amount of um, uh, clearance between between these two boards, and they've just bridged over the boards. And I'll be honest, that's not the best idea. Um, but as a general hobbyist meter, apart from the um, transistor tester on the front, it's not bad. Um, they're certainly worth all of the one pound that you spend on them. So yeah, shoddy meter, uh, not quite as shoddy as I was hoping for. But I certainly wouldn't be plugging this into mains or any electrical appliance really over say 12 volts. So it's okay for your, your car or... Well, that's about it, really.